What's up guys, how we doing? My boy, Jacob Green. You know Jacob, the guy who came up to my car 12 years ago, yep. said I wanna yep. work in real estate. And now he is, this guy's so busy, this multi-million dollar realtor, he doesn't even make time for his old mentor. That's kind of messed up. We're here because it works for Jacob today, yeah. not for me. It was tough to get him penciled in, but you know, for such a good house, I figured we'd, we'd do our best to make it work. Hey, well, I appreciate you and your time and you're gracing us with your uh, sales uh, expert presence. Yeah. I mean, how many houses up and down the street have you sold? I mean, this, these are my streets. This is my <laughs> hood. Today, we are at an unbelievable house, the latest by Ramin Bassam. Purge Development, NYB Design, yeah. another awesome, awesome project. We are so pumped to be selling it. Yeah, their, their product is sick. Every time yeah. we sell it, it sells fast. And you're gonna see why we like it so much, because it's not your typical spec deal. This is a warm, earthy tone modern, uh, which is as in as cold moderns are out. So come on in and check Josh, out. Josh, by the what way, the future looks. It's, it's unbelievable. That's, that was a very on-point description of exactly the warmth of new construction houses. You know, Josh doesn't do interviews too much, so this is one of his first. Blake, you might need to cut this a few times, but everyone out there, all the audience, just bear with him because it's one of his first. Yeah, seriously. So, thanks. Not like you've done 12 years on TV, right? Wow, this guy. First of all, look at the world's biggest door. I mean, not the biggest, but pretty big. It's pretty big. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Pivot door. This is huge. It's custom. It was made on site. Check this thing out too. So when you want to leave, you wave. See that? You wave. Come try that. Come on. Come try that. Come here. Come here. A little wave. <laughs> I love it. Technology at its best. We put a man on the moon and we can wave. By the way, this gets them every time. Someone walks through, you give them a little wave, they're blown away. I know, isn't that funny? Yeah. It's the little things that count. Not the amazing uh, house behind us, but that. <laughs> but this house is awesome. This is like the epitome of warm, contemporary, organic finishes. This is not the modern box that is so out right now. This is warmth, beautiful materials, very homey, very bright. So we are at the opening of the Bird Streets. The Bird Streets is the most exclusive part of the hills. You are furthest west, closest to Beverly Hills. Not too far up, people don't like that. Close to the action, Sunset Boulevard, shops, restaurants, clubs, the best nightlife this city has to offer. Yeah, also you got every restaurant that Jacob takes all his dates to up and down the Sunset yeah. Strip. Uh, also, he's a very eligible bachelor. You can find him on any of the dating sites. Uh, it's under uh, uh, realestatelegend.com. That's it. That's how I describe myself. Uh, so yes, these are my streets and those are my places. And if you see me out on a, on a dinner, just give, give, him a wave. Little, give him a wave. Like you give the wave to the door. <laughs> Anyways, come on in and check this out. So like Jacob said, what separates this uh, to any spec project is uh, the latest and greatest, the warm, uh, modern kind of warm, earthy tone. So then when you come in here, you look at this light. The thing is, what I've learned with houses, you can't fake light. You come in, you got a nice bright feeling here. Makes you feel good when you walk in during the day. All right, well check this out. This is pretty cool. This is, uh, you know, just taking light to the next level. It's the details. It's the light details. It's the details that count, right? Then here, I love this material. This is a natural toned quartzite, so it's got no shine. It's a natural feel. Jacob and I walked through this house at different times while before we were getting the listing. Apparently, Jacob walked in and goes, oh my God, that stone is amazing. I'm gonna order that stone. And then I guess a day later, I walked in, I was like, oh my God, yeah. that stone is amazing. <laughs> Where'd you get it? This is one of those stones that like, I, I think this is the most in stone right now. This is the stone of the summer. Stone of the summer. Stone, let me tell you, it's a Taj Mahal honed down matte finish. I know because I ordered it. Yeah, Jacob's been getting stoned for years. He knows everything about stone. Hey, Josh is like, <laughs> Josh is the biggest in the stoning world right now. Okay, there you go. There you go. Jacob Green, this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> check, 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 check. Check, check. It's a good thing he knows real estate. Um, you've also got all the appliances hidden. Again, very clean, very minimal, very fresh. I love it. I love it. In fact, this uh, this builder, uh, we've sold a couple of his houses before, very fast. 
Uh, nothing ever really sits of his, which is nice. He's got really good taste. Uh, his wife is the designer, so I love it. They're the one-two knockout team, uh, and they hit it out of the park every time. Don't even think about pushing me in the pool. You see, that's <laughs> Josh got nervous there. <laughs> ah, well, because I feel like I taught you everything I know, uh -huh. and you know that I would just kind of I saw the old, the old like push. That. What's very rare out here, too, is where most of these lots on Rising Glen in the bird streets are seven to 10,000. This is almost 17,000 feet. So what this means is you don't have a house on top of you. You have kind of a buffer that goes all the way around. And I want to do a quick shout out to Ramin Bassam, Purge Development, NYB Design. They are the masterminds behind this project, the ones we've sold from before. Yep. Awesome builder, great guy. Awesome guy to work with. I yeah, mean, he's sure. one of those clients that you just, uh, you enjoy working with. Uh, he's always a realistic seller and he always builds the best product. So big shout out. Uh, all right, you guys want to see the rest of the house? Come on. So walking back into the house, I love this space because this is like, to me, this is the pulse of the house. This is where you're going to hang. It's where you're going to watch TV eventually right there. It's off the kitchen. You got the doors open. You got the indoor outdoor flow. Here's the difference of a bachelor and a married guy. This is the pulse of the house for me. This is the heart of the home. Oh, oh, I, sorry. Honestly, I've still got a lot to learn. It's the, I, I realize sometimes there's yeah. still things to learn. He's still new. Hey, listen, uh, <laughs> you know what I like about this room too? I like how he took the Taj Mahal honed marble and he brought it over yeah. to here and he incorporated it together because that is where the heart is. <laughs> Come on. Damn, that is good. I know. I'm gonna Jacob, go show the office. I'm gonna use that. All right, Jacob's gonna show you the office because uh, he's got some work to do. I love this room because the pocket door opens up, disappears. If you wanna use it as an office, it's just a beautiful office, especially when all this lights up at night. Otherwise, great bedroom too. So nice to have a bedroom on the first floor. You got your additional three up above. Cool, well, one of the things I love uh, throughout this uh, developers' homes are a couple of the tile choices, a couple of the custom decisions that they make. I'm gonna get down low. How low can you go? Check this out. I mean, this is just way cooler than a typical vent. Uh, it's just part of the extra mile that he goes when he does these houses. I also love the tile choice uh, throughout this house. Check this out. This is super durable. Um, it's clean. I love matte black throughout houses to the fixtures and everything, but each bathroom has its own personality, uh, which is great. And look, as a car guy, most of you guys know, I collect cars. This garage to me is awesome for a couple different reasons. One, you can practice your singing in here. Yeah, oh, cut. This is concrete. That's oh, nice. So if you're listening to my voice and you want to bang your head against the wall, this is a perfect wall to do it in. The other thing that I like about this is the fact that it's double height. Look at this. Look at that drop over there. You can fit four cars in this garage. What we're doing a lot these days, especially when you reach a certain price range, you got people who have a lot of cars. Spending 10 million, 20 million on a house, you probably got like four or five cars, right? So we put in lifts a lot of times that are listing. So that's not a two car garage, that's a four car garage. And that is cool to me. Let's go upstairs. Here we've got what is now called the primary bedroom. The primary is the main bedroom, the biggest bedroom, the best view, usually where the owner lays his head or her head at night. It's a great place to do it. Check this out is view. nice, you got this view, plus you got a straight shot down to Sunset Plaza, which we sell the most the most real estate no in question. the Sunset Plaza, Bird Streets area. So part of our marketing is actually this. If you want to sell your house, call Josh Shulman at the Omen Brothers. And if I'm busy, call Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a pretty clean closet. I'm a big closet guy. Uh, spent a lot of time in my closet. I got suits throughout. I love the, the gold handles, the gold accents throughout this house. Are pretty awesome. Uh, not much of a white t-shirt guy, but this could be yours. Jacob, what's the price? The price of this house is 8.5 million, which is an absolute bargain. This is one of three really nice guest rooms. You have a great shot of the city lights from here as well. Yeah, and like, this is a really good size yeah. second room. Uh, this is, you know, some people would think this is a primary bedroom. It has the balcony, it has the closet space. 
you know, all the bedrooms have beautiful bathrooms in it. All okay, right. This is the third bedroom. Moving right along. By the way, I want to put it out there. Something you can't fake, light. Can't fake this. Unbelievable light throughout. This to me is the serene bedroom. You're kind of up in the hillside over here. I like this. Yeah. So who's a big fan of beds that are on the ground? You know, I yeah. feel like there's a divide in our country. Yeah. People who like beds on the ground and people who like beds that are up. Yeah. Right? I don't like the ones that are too high. You see, like, I feel like that has probably broken up a lot of relationships sure. out there. You know, sure. I like to be up high too. Uh, especially at my old age, I roll over, I gotta sit up for a minute. Yeah. That won't happen on that. But beds on the ground look way cooler. Again, you got another beautiful balcony. So I would say the interior feet on this is what? Uh, just over 5,700 feet. Now I would say there's probably, how big is that rooftop deck? Easily 1,600 feet. You're talking over about over 2,000 square foot yeah. of outside space. Oh, easily. Easily, uh, which I love. I mean, look, people come to LA, they come to California, they want the indoor outdoor vibe. This, where maybe at my house growing up in Boston, Massachusetts, was probably not something that would get used a lot. Yeah. Out here, you're here every night. Like that person living in there is gonna be sitting out here every single night. So uh, you roll off your low bed, you come you sit go. on the couch. <laughs> This is, is the, a rooftop deck. Yes. Yes, resistance. This what? Yes, the resistance. What does that mean? The best of the best. The, the real masterpiece. Piece of the what? I don't know. Honestly, look you guys like know? We'll look you it know up. What that yeah. is? The piece of the resistance. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. So uh, what's cool about this is you can buy this house, be on this rooftop deck, and look at at least four hundred million dollars worth of real estate that oh, yeah. the Altman brothers have sold, uh, all while enjoying your rooftop deck. And that's it, Jacob. Address, price, square footage. Sell the dream, Jacob. 1461 Rising Glen Road, 8.5 million, 5,700 feet, four beds, five baths, warm, beautiful, bright, contemporary. It's about to be gone soon. There you go. A uh, big round of applause from my boy, Jacob Green. Hey, I'm proud of you. Learning from the bed. This is, let me tell you, this guy is a true professional and has taught me everything I know. There you go. Josh. Love this guy. Thank you for the tour. He's on fire. Watch him. Future biggest realtor on the planet, hands down. Number one. Let's go, baby. When the real number one retires. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us today. We will see you at the next one. You know how we like to end it. Let's go!